Wow, it's a solar system puzzle, but it's missing all the planets. Come on, let's learn about them. Oh, look, it's nesting dolls. How many nesting dolls do you see? We have a really tiny one right here. Let's count them. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. The nesting dolls are in order from biggest to smallest. Here's the smallest, and here's the biggest. The smallest nesting doll has the planet Neptune. Where in the solar system puzzle can we find Neptune? Right, it's over here. I'll just put the Neptune nesting doll right in here. Whoa, there it goes. It's the planet Neptune. Neptune is an ice giant. It's similar to a gas giant. It's made of a thick soup of water, ammonia, and methane flowing over a solid core about the size of Earth. Neptune has a thick, windy atmosphere, and it's encircled by six rings. Neptune has 14 moons. Wow, that's amazing. Where are we off to next? Why, it's Uranus. Since Uranus is Neptune's only neighbor, it goes right here. It's an ice giant, just like Neptune, because it's far from the sun. Let's take our Uranus nesting doll, open it up, and place the Neptune nesting doll inside. Now I'll just take this Uranus nesting doll and place it right here. Oh wow, there it goes, it's Uranus. Uranus is surrounded by a set of 13 rings. We already know it's an ice giant and it has a thick atmosphere made of methane, hydrogen, and helium. That's the stuff we put inside balloons to make them float. Whoa, Uranus is lopsided. That means it spins on its side. Here's the next nesting doll. What planets do you see? Oh, this one's a big one right here. It's Jupiter and this one is Saturn. I'll just open up our planet's nesting doll. Now we can place the Uranus nesting doll and the Neptune nesting doll inside here. There it goes. I'll just put it right here where Jupiter's supposed to be. Awesome! We have two planet's puzzle pieces. Here's Jupiter, but this one's not in the right place. It's Saturn. Where do you think Saturn goes? Right, let's place it right over here. Jupiter is a big gas giant. It's covered in swirling cloud stripes. And this big red spot right here is actually a giant storm. It's called the Great Red Spot and it's been going for hundreds of years. Here's Saturn. It's the planet with the beautiful rings. The ring we see here is actually made up of chunks of ice and rock. Like Jupiter, Saturn is mostly a ball of hydrogen and helium. Cool! Let's check out our next nesting doll. Here's our planet. It's the planet Earth. And up here is the red planet, also known as Mars. I'll just open this up and get the rest of the nesting dolls inside. They perfectly fit right in. And let's see, where should we put it? I think we should start right here with Earth. Let's open our nesting doll and see what shows up. Great, we have our other puzzle pieces. Let's see, this looks like the planet Earth. This is where we live. Let's put that right here. And here is Mars. Mars can go right here. Earth is special. Do you wanna know why? Well, it's because it's an ocean planet. Water covers 70% of Earth's surface. Our atmosphere is made mostly of nitrogen and has plenty of oxygen for us to breathe. And let's not forget about Mars. Mars is a cold desert world. It is half the size of Earth. Mars is sometimes called the red planet. And I'll tell you why. It's because of the red rusty iron on the ground. What's next? Here it is. What do we have on here? Why, it's the planets Mercury and Venus. Let's open this nesting doll right up. And here goes the rest of the planets. Boop, right inside. Whoa, that's a lot of planets in one place. Let's just give it a shake. And now it's ready. Let's open it up and just give it a tap, tap, tap. Oh, look, 
It's Venus! Venus isn't the closest planet to the sun, but it's still the hottest. It's actually so hot on Venus, metals like lead would be puddles of melted liquid. Whoa, that's cool! But look, we're missing one more planet! It's Mercury! I have an idea! We have one nesting doll left! This nesting doll has the sun and the moon. This is our largest nesting doll. Let's open it up and place all of our planet's nesting dolls inside. There you go. That way we can complete the solar system. And now we'll just give it a shake. Let's see, will we get the planet Mercury? Let's just open it up. And there you go, it's Mercury. Let's place it right here. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It's just a little bigger than Earth's moon. Since Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, it doesn't take very long to go all the way around. That means one year on Mercury is 88 Earth days. So if you lived on Mercury, you'd have a birthday every three months. Now that our solar system is complete, we can count how many planets we have. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. That's eight planets in our solar system. Thanks for helping me complete the solar system puzzle and see you next time.